So we are being told by scientists and experts about this strange object heading towards our planet that is a lot more bigger and is moving much more faster. So it's the size of Mount Everest and it's moving 150,000 miles per hour. That is the latest updates coming out today, July 28, 2025, by experts, scientists, and they are sounding the alarm on this one here. So a few days ago, they said that it was the size of Manhattan, all right? And now it's a lot bigger. I don't know if this thing grew overnight and it's on steroids and it's moving fast. Again, we don't know, but uh, we're getting all these crazy updates now. And we do have some more information. This is going to be at least 225 miles, 225 million miles away from Earth. All right, so that's going to be way out there. We're not even gonna see this thing. All right, but it's gonna be closer to Mars. Now, there's a possibility, perhaps, in the next few months, this thing could get closer to our planet. All right, it's too early to predict all these things. Now, again, according to some scientists, they believe that this is a UFO spaceship alien, all right? I don't believe in none of that. I'm sorry, guys, again, I'm a Christian. Um, I believe what the Bible says, that uh, the only thing that fall from the heavens, <laughs> and scripture has mentioned this from the very beginning to the very end, the only thing that has fallen from the heavens are the fallen angels. Those are the only thing that has fallen from the heavens, all right? And of course we get the meteorites, but um, again, uh, the Bible says that the stars will fall from the heavens, not the kingdom of heaven, but the heavens, the the heavens elements, which is the universe, all right? And stars is a metaphor for angels. Now remember, the dragon uh, and the woman in the book of Revelation, the dragon with his tail just takes a one-third of the stars. That's a metaphor, meaning Satan has taken many angels with him and they were cast out of heaven, the kingdom of heaven, the fallen angels, all right? Those are the stars that has fallen from the heavens, all right? But again, we're gonna keep you updated with all this uh, three-eye atlas that uh, is, you know, gaining speed. And so, guys, I also wanna bring something up too. There was a, there was, I think it's a five-second clip video and I did win live last night, we actually talked about this. But uh, there's a five second clip video that showed the, the object, the three eye atlas, just moving. And right here, there's a big light and it stops here and then it goes. It's, I mean, it stops for like a split second and then it goes. Uh, it's kind of strange that it made that. And you know, the, the movement, it doesn't even seem like it's a, you know, a space rock or a, a comet or an asteroid. It seems like it's, you know, who knows? But uh, we're gonna wait and see and how all this plays out. Right now, it, again, it's only July. We're about to enter August. This thing is gonna uh, pass by uh, late November or early December, according to the uh, experts. Again, experts, scientists, whatever you wanna call them. But uh, you have some other scientists, they believe that this being a UFO uh, spaceship, it's just nonsense. You know, a lot of scientists are saying, you know, many, many experts out there saying this is ridiculous. This is not no alien stuff. But uh, we shall wait and see how all this plays out. All right, so at the same time, I wanna bring this up. I know many of you are not aware that I have multiple channels. But I also want to bring this one up. Baba. Baba, the Bulgarian woman who put out multiple prophecies about world events. She passed away back in 1998. But when she was a little girl, she lost her eyesight during a sandstorm. And uh, she 
basically looked at it and lost her vision. But ever since she lost her vision, supposedly uh, she's been seeing a lot of future world events. One of them is 2025, which uh, she put out a prophecy about a light, a new light appearing in the sky during a sport event. All right, and it's going to be televised. All right, so um, they are saying that that prophecy could be related to the object that is coming towards our planet. Now, again, I don't believe in none of this type of stuff. I am a Christian. I do believe that uh, we are called to be disciples. Uh, when it comes to prophets, that's Old Testament. Uh, we, we are under a new covenant, and that's the gospel of Jesus Christ. The only final prophets that I see in the last days are the two witnesses in the book of Revelation. All right, and uh, they are witnesses sent by God. Uh, I believe those are the two final prophets. Everybody else, they just want to be on YouTube and try to make money and deceive people with all these prophecy stuff. But uh, again, what are your thoughts about the, um, the interstellar? I mean, it's gaining speed. It's, you know, from 125 million miles, excuse me, 125,000 miles miles and now it has uh, gained speed to 150,000 miles I mean that's um, that's crazy all right and uh, experts are saying that this thing is packing with a lot of stuff we're talking about gas we're talking about ice rocks we're talking about uh, some other stuff I mean this thing is packed with uh, many many surprises and uh, th but the only problem is it's gonna be far away from earth which is a good thing. I mean, we don't want nothing hitting our planet, but uh, but since it grew and since it's gained speed, there's a possibility it might shift direction. Give it some time, who knows? Maybe it probably go turn around or it might turn towards our planet. We shall wait and see. All right, so again, this is the latest update I do have a video coming up. It's gonna be over at my main channel, Grand Supreme News. We just hit 82,000 subs, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we are almost at 100,000 followers. Thank you again for that support. 